Falcons high, Falcons low. Let's see how far these Lady Falcons can go. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker with another edition of Athletes in Action. From Severna Park High School, let's full court press with the Lady Falcons basketball team and head coach, Christopher Dean. The Lady Falcons have been soaring for years because their relationships continue to grow with all of their teammates and peers. We like to put in all our work in the gym, like start to finish the full two hours. So we're really prepared for game time when it comes around and we just work really hard and I guess it's starting to pay off. It's a community, like this team, I would not choose to be anywhere else. All these girls, they're my family. Like we see each other every day for hours every day. Our team especially just has the best chemistry and it's been like that since I've been on the team my freshman year. We're just all so close together and it's not just the teammates, it's the coaches too. Everyone just feels all comfortable together and we want to get better for each other. We're just like a really prepared team so like we just prepare for all of our games with film and we just go through it at practice like scouting the other team. Severna Park's girls hoops soar big on utilizing their previous experiences and solid leadership to keep their squad consistently at the top of the standings. We're just so close that I feel like as a captain unit, it just works really well and we like to inspire the younger girls. We've like all grown up together just playing rec league sports and stuff like that. And then it's just having a small, like a small size team like basketball, it's so easy to be like close with the girls all the time. The seniors especially are really close with the coaches because we got to have our freshman year with them before COVID happened and not none of the younger girls had that. So I play soccer with a couple of them and they all play lacrosse together. So we've grown up playing scrub basketball since we were like in middle school and elementary school. You know, we've been in a lot of close games and games that uh, you know can slip away quickly uh, without le without the leadership and these four seniors have stepped up uh, they're terrific athletes and they're wonderful people to be around these ladies know that fitness strength and stamina are the Falcons way to go the coaches definitely work as hard especially in preseason with a lot of running and it's miserable in the moment but it makes it so much better once we're playing in games so we'll do conditioning we'll do abs and then we'll go right into scrimmaging so when we're doing transition like your, your legs just feel like they're gonna fall off but then in a game no one else can keep up with us you know they, they come in in good shape anyways they're just terrific uh, athletes and, and multi-sport athletes so you know you kind of expect that they're going to be in shape coming the season but there's a difference between being in soccer shape or look, feel like you're lacrosse than being in basketball shape you know it's a whole different ball game. We incorporate conditioning into all of our drills so that it's not like repetitive doing the same thing over and over again. The park is totally on the mark when it comes time for classwork. These are student athletes, right? So that's one of the priorities that we talk about. You know, it's about being student first. And these girls, they get it. They understand. We come and watch every JV game, but you'll see us on the side. On our, we have our binders out. We have our computers. We're always doing our homework together. We just try to get in and out and leave enough time for family time at home and resting and homework and all that. So having good grades and maintaining a good student-athlete balance is really important. And it's harder for the younger girls because as seniors, we get out of school early, so we have more time to do homework and stuff. Sometimes we practice at the end, I like, it's like 7 to 9 p.m., so just like focusing on what time you can do your homework. This team continues to amaze, which has led to a Severna Park Lady Falcons basketball craze. A lot of fun when kids from our school come and support because it really just brings the energy up in the team and makes everyone want to do better and have more fun in the game, so it's a lot of fun. All the parents are so supportive, JV and varsity. The parents come out to both games and they're just super supportive and positive. Our parents are the best. They're all of our biggest supporters. We have girls like Green Hornets basketball. We have them come watch our, we have Green Hornets game coming up. We have One Love game coming up. It's just such a nice community base. Um, a couple years ago, we had a fan named Kenny. He would come to all of our games, every single one without fail. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple years ago, but his parents come to every single one of our games. Through the announcements in school, they're always announcing when we have games like that. So that's how we get like a lot of our friends to come. And then our parents are just awesome. They're like the most respectful parents. Like they, they're always happy to be there and they're cheering us on. 
We've been blessed to see how many uh, we've had supporting us on, on even a Tuesday night. So we're, we're, we're excited and hopefully we can continue to grow. In honor and memory of my mom, Dee Baker, I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air. And with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Athletes in Action.